Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. So the last couple of days I have been thinking about videos that I like to watch myself and trying to put out as many of those as I possibly can to um, shake the channel up a little bit. It's been all I've done really is um, colouring book flip throughs and colour alongs so far. So you have to I have to apologise for my empty space. If I dare turn you around, give me a second. Let me take you off the thing. One second. This stack here <laughs> is my um, colouring books that I haven't coloured in, which you probably can have told by the um, the title. So let's get started. Um, I've got some really beautiful books here, and there really is no excuse for having not coloured them, coloured in them. Um, other than the fact, I suppose you get stuck in a comfort zone of what you like, what you know, um, an artist that you get used to. I did buy a ring light; it doesn't really help. So this one is Kirsty's Summer Cutting Garden, and it's a watercolouring book. And I've acquired these both recently, so that might be an excuse for why I haven't coloured in them. And I've told you all, if you followed my channel, that my beloved Neo 2s, I adore colouring with them. But I have recently sort of branched out into some watering colours too. But I haven't yet dared to colour in them. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous book. Fruit, vegetables, flowers. It's lovely. No excuse. This is available on Amazon, by the way. And it's 25 illustrations um, printed on watercolour paper. And so then this is the next one, Spring Cutting Garden, um, <clears throat> by Kirsty Rice. And as you would expect, the same quality. I, I think I like this one a little better. But I think what puts me off is um, the images are, I don't know, quite basic line art. And, and that's quite scary for somebody that's new to watercolour. Um, but, I mean, just beautiful images like that. And really, you know, I can do it with my Neos, put the base down and then come in with detail. So, there really is no excuse. So, there's those two. And then with my watercolour fad, I've collected the um, escape books. What's the other one? Um, I've got Rainforest Escape, but I haven't managed to get... Um, What's the other one? Carnival Escape. And I really love that one, but I just can't get hold of it. These books are a dream. They've got giant fold-out pages. They are absolutely wonderful. But I do find them quite intimidating. Let me bring the camera up slightly because... There we go. Sorry about that. Might help to get all the image in, might it? Um... I do find them intimidating because they're such such beautiful high quality books that um, I frightened that I'm going to spoil them. But I will give it I will give it a go at some point. So that was my watercolouring um, books, other than my Linda Ravenscroft, which you've seen, and most of them have got some colouring in now. Um, that was my my watercolour collection. Let me just move those over here. I need to make a space. Okay, then I saw this on um, Colouring with Kay's channel and I fell in love with it. So this is quite a recent addition. I love the fact that it's spiral bound. This is Birds, illustrated by Sandra Rushton. And um, all spiral bound, some grayscale, some not. But I fell in love with it as soon as I saw her do a flip through of it. Um, and I thought, I have to have it. But again... I haven't coloured in it. Don't know why. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous book. I don't know if it's perforated. No, it's not, is it? Yes, it is perforated. So you could, let me see. I don't know, actually. This light is so bad in here. Give me a second. I don't think it is, actually. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, it's not perforated. But you could easily you know, pull them out and mount them or frame them. Beautiful. A lovely, lovely book. So, thank you, Kay. And then, um, 
I saw this on a flip through a while ago and if by the way if there's any of these you'd like a full flip through of please don't hesitate to contact me and I'll, and I'll do that um, Into the Wild and I can't remember who had it on their channel but I fell in love with it the minute I saw it it's a high quality book no dust jacket I'm going to move you, see if I can move you up and over slightly. Sorry about that, there you go. No, I've just got a fold out cover. <clears throat> now what I liked about this is um, the images are quite intricate. So you go from quite detailed grayscale on this page to quite simplified drawing on this page and the backgrounds are coloured. It is a beautiful, beautiful book. Again, again, intimidating. Look at the detail in that one. I hope you're picking this up because it seems to be... Let's try that. Very... It's a really dreary day again in the UK. Beautiful, beautiful illustration. I mean, look at that wolf. Gorgeous. Yeah, just wonderful book. And I just haven't picked it up. So I think I'm going to try and make a pledge to myself to pick these books up and do one page at least in them. I mean, there's a mountain of them here. Right, the next colouring, the next two colouring books were books I brought when I first very started my colouring journey back last year. And I brought them from the works in the UK, but you can get these on Amazon. Excuse me, I've just taken a sip of drink because my voice has gone like a man. Um, so this is Vintage Fairies colouring book. And I liked it because you got... Gosh, my screen looks really orange. Let me tip it. That's better. Um, because you've got the image on one side that's coloured in for you and then the line art on the other. A bit like flower fairies, really. I mean, and I think that really is what scared me off. You see this beautiful detailed image here. I'm going to move that. Let's move that over that way. And then <clears throat> this very, very basic line art. I'm going to turn that off as well. Will that help? Maybe. Um, and the very, very basic line art this side. <clears throat> And at that point, not having had any colouring experience of any of, to, so to speak, um, it, it, it scared me off. But it is a gorgeous, gorgeous book, and I really should give it a shot now that I've got a little bit more experience. There's just no excuse for them. I mean, I don't know if you're like me, but I love the smell of new books that haven't been touched. So that's that one. And then at the same time, I purchased Beautiful Butterflies colouring book. And I've seen this on Amazon when I've done searches for colouring books. God knows why, because I certainly don't need any more. But this was the same kind of thing. So you get this beautiful coloured image. And then the simplified line art on this side. Which is what scared me off. But actually, when I purchased it, I purchased it because, you know, for a beginner without a colour wheel and choosing colours can be quite daunting and so to have these in front of you a, a version of the real thing is quite, I mean look at that, stunning, look at that um, it's quite, it's quite nice to have the paper is good quality it's not um, Amazon paper, it's got a bit of tooth to it um, so, but yeah, it, nevertheless it remains untouched now one you'll probably all know. I think this is Girl With Poems. Now, I got this in lockdown. Um, yes, surprisingly enough, I did. I had to pay a premium delivery cost, but somebody was colouring it. I can't remember who. And um, I have just fell in love with the images. And you get some coloured images at the front of, of the work. And um, there's, there's line art. There's... Some of the images are grayscale, and they're just absolutely phenomenal in images. And it came with um, little postcards of the images too. So, 
um, I like, yes, they're just spectacular. Absolutely spectacular. Oh, I'm sorry, my computer's going berserk. It's all it's notifications of all you lovely guys um, posting videos. So I mean, just look, and it's just it's all sorts of different. It's like different styles. I mean, this one. Just look at that. I'm feeling the paper. It's really thick good quality and I'm wondering how pastel pencils would work on this actually um, and for some reason I've really got a thing about these pastel pencils and it's given me a boost of confidence look it's got a dust dust cover and then you've got the actual book itself um, it's given me a boost of confidence in the fact that you can um, to some extent erase um, any mistakes you make sorry I'm I'm stumbling over my words because this book is just so beautiful. So I really must give this a go. It's so, so lovely. So I got it from Etsy. Beautiful, shiny, glossy cover. Okay, so there's that one. Then I got from the lovely Imogen Colouring Kid. Um, she was showing this in one of her month's completed pages. And I loved it. It's a very cute, compact little book. Quite thick. Um, but the designs in it, look, I mean, how cute is that? What does it say? What is a friend? A single soul dwelling in two bodies. How lovely. You know, and the images are just beautiful. But yet again, um, I've seen so many beautiful coloured images of it, it scares me off slightly. So, but that's um, A Hundred Hugs by Chris Riddle. I think I'm going to have to do, like, a challenge where um, I challenge myself, put um, the titles in, in a cup or something and pull them out so that I get to them because what's the point if they're just sitting here on a shelf? It's really sad, these beautiful, beautiful books. So then I've got Princesses and Fairies Colouring Book. This I got from the Book Depository, I think. And I love the images of it, but again, paper quality is lovely. It's really smooth, so I'm wondering if my Pablos would work well on that, on this paper. But beautiful, stunning images in here. Look at that page. You know, there's a lot of detail. Casting some real serious shadow here. There's a lot of detail, or, I mean, look at this one. A lot of detail. Well, then you get pages. Now she says it. She's not going to be able to look. That are a little bit more simplified. Something's glaring. I think it's glaring off my picture frame. So you get pictures that are more simplified, like this one. So, again, gorgeous, gorgeous colouring book. Let me know if any if you've got any of these beautiful books and, and uh, what pencils you found work really well in them. And then another one from um, the lovely colouring kid, Imogen, introduced me to the flower year, untouched. Pristine, sits on my bookshelf, pride of place, with all my other hardback books. And dare I touch it? No, I dare not. So... Another one that I'm thinking, I'm going to use pastels in. The paper feels like it would take them okay. It's really good quality paper. You've got the like silk-like bookmark. And there is... My birthday. There is... Um, for each month. You've got the flowers for each month. But as you can see, intricate, very, very beautiful book. And I'm frightened I'm going to fluff it up. And I, uh, as I recall, I don't think it was particularly that cheap. So, there is The Flower Year. It's a gorgeous book. I love it. And the colour, pink. The only thing it's missing, I think, could do with is a dust jacket, just to keep it nice and clean and lovely. But then it's not a problem, is it, if I'm not colouring in? <laughs> so. OK, then we turn to... A PDF from Etsy, which is Grazio Salvo's Loveliness. Um, and this says, Woman of Flowers Collection 2. 
and this is the black outline one I think she has grayscale um, and I brought this because it's Grazia Selva I mean look at that fell in love with it and like so many other things you put it on a bookshelf so it looks all smart and nice and then just don't get round to it and it's criminal it really is criminal look at that image and you can tell it's Grazio you know if you look at her new book um, Wild Soul it, it's still very much her style so that was a PDF Grazio Selva now dare I move this big pile because I have another Grazio Salvo one. Ooh. Oh my goodness it's so heavy <laughs> yes flowers and gems let's go to that one makes sense doesn't it to have them together I've had this for a while I got it from Amazon so I don't think it's the original um, like some of them had this fold out cover which was really lovely this is um, you know obviously reprint after reprint now I've got a wonderful subscriber who messages me and we're passing messages backwards and forwards via Gmail called Pandit and she is wonderful she sends me pictures that she's coloured into so I can see and she has um, asked over and over again for me to colour a picture in flowers and gems and I've promised her that I will so just to let you know Pandit here is the book I hope I'm saying your name correctly um, here is the book I do have it beautiful perforated book beautiful beautiful images look at them um, I will find an image and we'll do it together I'll do it as a colour along there we are and then it can be moved out of my bookshelf that hasn't been coloured in yet so that's Flowers and Gems by Grazio Salvo and then we've got this one actually my son gave me this my eldest son by the National Trust and it's the colouring book of cards and envelopes by Rebecca Jones and it's gorgeous um, I don't know about anybody else I think I'm probably a little bit selfish when it comes to colouring I don't want to share my supplies and my books and I don't you know but I mean it's really really beautiful so it's my mum's birthday coming up, my grandson's birthday coming up, and my youngest son's birthday coming up. I really should do one of these. My, I know my mum would love that if I did her uh, her own card coloured in. Even shows you how to make the envelopes look. It's a really lovely book, really super quality paper, as you would expect. Lovely images. So, I, th I really do think, I'm just going to have another sip of drink, I'm, I do apologise. I really do think that I'm going to have to start putting um, numbers in um, a, a hat and draw some out so I get some of these done. Excuse me. And I should put myself on a ban until I've coloured in them. Okay. Then I've got, these were from my very, very early days when I first started colouring and I wanted to learn blending and this is simple colouring books for adults doesn't really say anymore does it say um, Kathleen B Neely um, you see, it's a really huge chunky book it's Amazon paper um, very thick look um, yeah, I wanted to learn blending and I watched somebody doing a mandala and I thought, oh, I could, I could there. Oh, God, I have coloured in it. I do apologise, but that was me <laughs> learning to blend. So I'm sorry that should not have been in this one, but I'm, I'm not a mandala fan at all. Let's move that out of the way. I do apologise. Um, but these I brought when I decided, oh, my gosh, I could learn to blend by using mandalas. Another gorgeous book extremely thick paper um, calm colouring mandalas I maybe can feel a giveaway coming along when I reach that magic number which I'm not going to say um, very intricate ones but whether you're using fine liners or um, pencil they're all achievable but there are some lovely ones are they single sided? no they're not unfortunately so 
you'd have to check that for bleed through. But that's why I haven't coloured in that one. I'm just not a mandala person. And early days again from the works in the UK. This is available on um, Amazon. Can't believe I forgot the name of it. Amazon. It's like first name terms with their delivery drivers. What's wrong with me? So this is Watership Down the Colouring Book. Um, it is super, super, super lovely quality paper. Let me just move it over for you. Um, but again, um, quite basic line art. And this was before, obviously, really early days, like I say, when I brought these colouring books with all good intention, but I had no experience of colouring fur or anything else, or hair, excuse the pun. Um, but it's a gorgeous book and obviously got intimidated and scared off. I think I probably still would be to an extent, but it is a really lovely. And I remember going to the pictures as a, as a little girl with my parents and watching Watership Down, so it does hold a, a special place in my heart. Um, so I would like to be able to, to do some images in here. Yeah, so that's Watership Down. Beautiful. And I remember this was brought at the same time. Colour Together Nature. These are all really lovely books that you don't see, you know, you, well obviously Grazio Salvo you do and the um, Girl With Poem you see, but some of these, you know, just don't feature on YouTube. And it's a real, it's a real shame because, sorry, let me introduce it to you properly. Annie Davidson, Colour Together Nature. <coughs> Excuse me. There are other ones of these on Amazon. And they're really lovely books. Don't have to worry about backgrounds. Different, um, different uh, subjects is the word I'm trying to find. Um, yeah, look, there's a whole peacock there. There's some really, really excellent designs in here. And it would make a really lovely colour along. It's it's quite toothy paper, so again, would be good with pastels and most pencils. But yeah, a lovely little book, quite big. If I put my hand on it, you can see the size of it. Yeah, it's quite big, but it's a lovely book. Be really good quality. Can you hear that? Yeah, it's great. And then, you'd have seen this one if you followed my channel from the beginning. This is a Pictora Fairies one, but it's not um, like the pull-out books. Um, it is single pages. And I haven't done anything in this, which is absolutely criminal because, look at it. And it's grayscale, so I really should give this a go. Because I love like Linda Ravenscroft, and hers is very reminiscent of this style. Um, in that sort of sketchy dark, I can't get it all on, it's that big, um, that sketchy sort of dark design, so I know that it covers beautifully. It's perforated pages, it's cardstock of a super thick, I wonder if it says, so it was 12 posters to colour. Um, I was trying to find if it said what weight the paper was. But um, that you can buy, purchase it from there. Look, www.pictureofaline.com. Uh, um, oh, and it's just, I must look. I think that's probably going to be a next project. Get those old neos out and get cracking. It's beautiful. So, Pictura Fairies. Then I've got. The um, Kanoko Agusa um, Colouring Haven. This was my first experience of Colouring Haven. And I brought this as a single edition because I absolutely love this artist. Um, the detail and just the detail is um, exquisite, but the subject is endearing. You know, it's, it draws you in. It's just fantastic. So this was what made me then subscribe to Colouring Heaven magazine because I was thinking, oh, it'd be cheap, flimsy paper, but it's actually really good paper. Um, 
yeah so that's Animal Wonderland special so I haven't had it that long when when did this come out I don't know issue 40 so I don't know if it says oh issue 59 Animal Wonderland special it doesn't say but um, probably three four months ago maybe that I got this one I can't remember when it came out but that was my introduction and um, I'm frightened of ruining it but I have since brought some watercolour paper so I might photocopy some of these onto that paper and give that a whirl. Now, this one, something rather special. You'd have probably all heard of Serene and Nick Filbert. Well, this is from 70 East Books um, on Etsy. Um, and this is Nicholas Filbert. Let me just take this off carefully. It's like the jewel in the crown. I do have Serene, but I have actually coloured in it. Um, there, look at this. This is Let's Colour by Nick Filbert. And it is... Now, if you follow Dee Dee Willingham, she well, actually, I think it was today, or this week at least, has been colouring this. And it is a whole... Let me get the main subject in. Where are they? There, look. It is a whole pull-out poster. There, look. And you can just see it's Nick Filbert's. There's no mistaking his beautiful design. It's um, thick, like, poster paper. And I didn't pay an awful lot for it, actually. I can't remember exactly. I can't get it out. I do apologise. I smashed you in the face with it. But I didn't pay too much for it. Um, I'm not going to go and fold it up. There we go. And it comes like this. Um, and that, let me see if I can zoom in. There's the full image. It's just outstanding. Let's get refocused. And it's called Let's Colour Love by Nicholas Chandrawinenta. <laughs> I have no idea. So, um, and this little pouch was made by um, the lady over at 70 East Books. Is it June? I'm not sure, I can't remember now. But, so I keep that in there and then I'll put the little tag back over it when I've finished the video. Let's place that there. Another early edition, Botanical Wonderland, A Blissful Colouring Retreat by Rachel Reinhardt. Now, I've seen people do this book it just confused me as a new colourist. I love it. Paper's great. It's quite very smooth. Nice bright white. I like the imagery or I wouldn't have brought it. But it just confuses me. I don't know why. I don't know why. But it is screaming, colour me in. Look at it. And you just need to use your imagination, isn't it, really? And stop trying to... And that's the trouble with me. Everything is like... I like to do everything like realism. I don't know, maybe I'll get over it one day. I think your colouring um, interests change as you go along, don't they? I mean, I remember thinking, oh, I'd never colour Hannah Carlson in. Or what's the point in colouring a lady in? And now I do loads of girls and fairies and things. So maybe I'll, you know, I'll come back to it. Then I've got this one. This is QB Colouring Books, A Fairy Tale Adventure, Grayscale Adult Colouring Book. And it, as the title suggests, it is. Am I blurry? It is Fairy Tales. I don't know if it tells you anywhere what the fairy tales are. Let me see if I can find out. It feels like Amazon paper, but it doesn't say that. It doesn't say that it's printed on Amazon paper so mm. but single sided so you could use alcohol markers or markers it's a really cute little book and there's no particular reason I haven't picked this one up just gets put on a shelf squashed between others and you forget but uh, QB colouring books They've got quite a few of that other books. 
it's definitely much better quality paper than ours in print paper, I have to say. But look at that. It's just a wonderful little book. When I say little, it's clearly A4 and really quite thick. So really very good um, value for money. I do apologise. Gosh, can't get anything out. Then we've got the wonderful Tim Jeffs. Now, I don't know if you've been following me, but I've got um, a flip through of his latest birds one and a colour along on my channel if you want to pop over and have a look at that. Um, but this is intricate ink, hardback. Well, I say hardback, it is, it is hardback, but it's more like very thick card. And look at his designs. Wow. Um, Colour and Chat with Sammy was doing one, I don't know if it was from this edition, but she was doing one recently on one of her lives. Um, she, it was like a lizard, I think, she was doing. Look at him. You know, he's gorgeous. I'd love to try him. Again, I think pastel pencils, maybe? I don't know. Or even, I know that people have used pan pastels in here, so my pastel pencils should work. I mean, look, he's gorgeous, isn't he? I love Tim Jeffs. And I love the work he's doing currently for conservation and um, endangered species. So, that's um, an awesome one. Do you love him? Now then, this I found on Amazon. Oh, I don't know how many months ago. Some time into my colouring journey, anyway. And, um... What's the name? Gosh, I do apologise. Um... The lady that just popped my over, what's her name? Camilla De Erico. Now, if you're familiar with her mermaids and the new one I did a flip through of on my channel, when I saw this, it doesn't state anywhere that I can see, unless I'm being blind, who the artist is. Now, Anybody that knows Camilla De it's Amazon paper, but anybody who knows Camilla De Erico will recognise the very distinct style. I can't even find a print date, actually. Isn't that odd? Look, there's nothing. But anyway, um, it, image on this side, test colour on that side. So they're all single single-sided images but I mean that's just classic isn't it Camilla Di Dierico beautiful little book I just found it on Amazon I thought oh I wonder if there's any new images that I haven't seen from her not all of them look like hers but I mean that is and there, there so there are some images that um, from Camilla that I hadn't seen it's not brilliantly printed to be honest but yeah I'm glad I've got it it's a nice collection to have along with the other Camilla ones so that's that and then <gasps> Nocturnes how could I not have coloured in this I know don't scream at me the lovely Anastasia Ellie Calder Riva now I've done a colour along in the other book what's that called oh is it? Oh no! Mysteria, of course it is. So I've got that one. I know she's come out with a new one recently, hasn't she? Um, but these are just out of this world. Look at them. And I just find this Nocturnes more intimidating than the other one. Look at that Alice in Wonderland. Now I'm a huge Alice fan. I love Alice in Wonderland. My best friend is currently finishing a diamond painting for me from Diamond Art Club from um, the Alice picture from there for me and I'm a huge Alice fan so that would be really good to do if I had the guts Sammy did that one did an awesome job on her so I must give it a go no excuse then I've got um, Le Grand Classiques Art Deco by Disney. Never coloured this in. And, and the actual fact, I, when Sammy did her entire colouring book collection live, um, I went off and, and found this one. Thanks, Sammy. <laughs> um, 
huge books, huge, great paper, but it's really not my style. Um, it's not, it's not screaming to me for some reason. So I'm going to think about doing some giveaways, maybe. I'm not sure. I like the fact that I've got my collection. And it's not always about colouring it in, is it? Sometimes it's just nice to have the artwork and the books around. He's nice. So, yeah. Yeah, so that was after, it's hardback book again. Um, that was after watching uh, Colouring Chat with Sammy's, all her, all her colouring books. Then I've got Sikuwams. This pile is getting dangerously tall. Um, Etsy buy. Um, beautiful, beautiful book. Spiral bound. Oh! oh bear with me. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> My husband coming in to say something to me and scared the living daylights out of me. <laughs> I do apologise for my little squeal there. Yeah, so as I was saying, this was uh, Sikuwam's illustrations and it came off Etsy. Beautiful bright white paper. Again, stunning images. Beautiful. Girls, I mean, look at this one. <gasps> Isn't she lovely? That reminds me a little bit of Nick Filbert's style. But yeah. Love, and I just, I, I wouldn't have altered it if I didn't like it, so I don't know why I'm so scared of these things. So there we are. That's that one. And then we've got Surreal Fantasy. I don't know how you pronounce this. I don't know how you say that. No, I'm not even going to try it. Um, so grayscale and underpainting colouring book. Now this is quite out there, it's quite, some of the images are quite weird, but the artwork, it does go that way, is really, um, is outstanding. Paper's not the best, but the images are beautiful. And I've got one in here, why have I got a little thing in here, a little tag in here? Uh, I obviously liked her at one point and was going to try. Let me see. Um, I just wanted to see, it's printed in the United States of America. How funny, look. Printed in the United States of America, it says at the front. And on the back, it says, printed in Great Britain by Amazon. So I don't know where it's printed. But that's a lovely book. Very different, a bit weird, but you know. And then talking of different, Colour My Sketchbook by Bennett Klein. Um, I've brought a few PDFs of his too, um, but I haven't printed those off, so I can't include those. So this one is, let me just see, it was 2014, Amazon Paper. And if you're interested in any of the books that you can't find of his on Amazon or any other book places, if you go on to Etsy and find him and message him, or look him up, because I know he's got his own website now, if you look him up, he will sell you those PDFs. Of, um, and you've got, look, I've got pages there. That, this was one page that I've tagged I wanted to do. Let's have a look. This one, he's an, an absolutely amazing artist. I mean it just look I think the paper put me off a little bit. Did I say it was Amazon? Yeah I did yeah but again I could photocopy it onto that watercolour and he's just I love Bennett Klein so like I say I've got I me mean, look at this one absolutely stunning uh, I've got a few PDFs of his that I haven't printed off but um, I've never got round to. Then we've got Colin Thompson, colouring book, another outstanding artist, absolutely amazing. Paper's quite smooth, it's not Amazon, definitely not, there's my favourite image. And it was in my Colour in Heavens um, 
magazine, it was called Busy World, and I did a flip through on my channel of that magazine, and this was that was by Colin Thompson. Um, and as you can see, extremely intricate, intricate, extremely busy pictures. But take it one step at a time, and can you imagine the satisfaction of colouring that in? Yeah, I must. Yeah, I say I must. You get stuck in a rut, don't you, where you, I do, where you seem to colour the same artist all the time. And I know a lot of you are going to scream at me now. Yes, I've never coloured in her. Fairy tale princess, Hannah Lynn. You're all going to scream at me, I'm sure you are. Quite a chunky book. Um, let me see where it's printed. Printed in Great Britain by Amazon. Beautiful book. Now, am I right in saying there's two images? Yes, there is. There's this one. And if you look at her eyes there, they're just blank. Let me lift her up for you so you can see. Her eyes are just blank. And then if you turn the page, it's the same image, but she's got grey-scaled eyes, look. I can't see any other difference, but I did notice that. Yeah, it's a lovely book. I don't know why I haven't. I will do this. I'm going to have to. I think I might like leave this on top. I think we need to do one in here. Oh, and the other reason why was I had alcohol markers, some cheap ones, like a huge set of them. Um, and within six months they'd all dried up. And I hadn't hardly used them. So, yeah. Fairy tale princess and a storybook darlings by the lovely Hannah Lynn. We're nearly there, folks. Nearly there. I'm going to keep going. I won't do it in two parts. Now, you've heard me witter on about Charles Santor and how much I love this man. This is um, Charles Santor's Illustrates Aesop's Fables. Um, and you get colour images of them. I don't know if you've got bloody glare in here. Um, and they're grey-scaled. Let me show you. Let's get a nice clear one. Look, so this is what we would know as a, a wolf in sheep's clothing. Right. Aren't they lovely? Um, lost time can't be recalled. Yeah, he's just the, a brilliant, brilliant artist. Look at that frog. Self-conceit may lead to self-destruction. <laughs> so it's going to win his case. Yeah, lovely. The beautiful, wonderful Charles Santor. And then I've got um, Classic Tales by Charles Santor. These are all Amazon. Um, let's I'll just check the paper. It's not printed on Amazon paper. Good quality paper. <clears throat> So this is, says, Snow White's mother dreams of having a child. I'm going to have to cut the video off because my memory card is screaming at me. I will come back to this page in a second. Give me one sec. Sorry about that. My camera was flashing at me. I still haven't figured out what was going on, but it seems to be okay now. So I'm sorry about that. We were doing Charles Santor's Classic Tales colouring book. Um, and, say, and just praising, his, singing his praises, I adore him. That's Mr. Jeremy Fisher. So that must be, I think, is that from um, Wind of the Willows? <clears throat> Snow White. Very intricate, detailed imagery. But gorgeous. I absolutely love this illustrator. Peter Rabbit. Just lovely, lovely book. Okay, let's move on. Let's. There's there's not many left. There's about five, six left, I think. Kath Kidson's colouring book, right back at the beginning of my journey. Again, another one I purchased from the works in the UK. Um, and as you would imagine, from Kath Kidson, it is all her kind of images. So a lot of wallpaper. Um, let it focus. Yeah, a lot of sort of wallpaper imagery, but people like that, you know. Um, amazing, good quality paper. But 
I don't know, I brought it on a whim at the beginning and I've never touched it. I'm not really a wallpaper kind of person, but I mean, how the spine isn't even broken. It's a nice thick book, good quality, but yeah, it just doesn't... I like calf kids and stuff very much, but colouring it is another thing. So there's that one. Then we've got um, my little um, Good Wives and Warriors collection. There's only two, I say collection. Um, Escape to Wonderland. Intimidating. Even though it's a tiny little book. Nice and thick. Good quality paper. Um, responds well to pencils. I know because I've seen that other people have coloured in it. Um, lovely little book actually. Um, and yeah, I don't like this, like, what do they call it, Zen Doodles? I'm not a big fan of that. But that's not an excuse, because there is many other beautiful pages. And I have got it out many times and flipped through it. Um, and I really like it, but for some reason, it's never, my pencils have never hit it. And then we've got Escape to Oz. And this one I've pulled out many times. Where's the page? Um, there is a page that I thought, come on Lucy, this is simple enough, you could do this. I don't know where it is now, but um, there, the little shoe, um, and this page with the witch's feet, but I never, I, I don't know, the, you know, sometimes you, when you look at an image you can see what it's going to look like when you've completed it. It's just sort of never popped into my head, this one. I don't know why. But, um, it will. It will. Beautiful books. Lovely little collection. Okay, and then we've got the, uh, my collection of Fabiana's Atanasios that I haven't coloured in. Um, I brought these after colouring in... Peter Pan's one. So this is the Jungle Book. It's, uh, I could only get it in um, another language. I'm not really sure whether what language it is, whether it's Italian. But these are the... Um, the paper in this is lovely and it responds beautifully to polychromos, by, by the way. Because um, I've coloured in the other books that I've got. Great, great images. And I've taken it out the back to protect it, but you always get a poster in the back of them. So this one's Hansel and Gretel. Again, very typically Fabiana's artwork. This is probably one of my favourite of hers, this one. Um, just lovely. I'm going to have to lift you up. I do apologise. Let's go up a little bit. Just so I can get your... That's better. Um, it's probably one of my favourites, this one. Hansel and Gretel, I think it's the gingerbread, uh, this cottage, the witch's cottage. Let me find that. Look at that, this full of sweets. What a lovely image. Could be beautiful. I wasn't such a chicken. Yeah, gorgeous. Alice in Wonderland. This has got the poster in the back, look. It annoyed me because they put that sticky stuff in it to stop it sliding about. And then when you open the poster, if I can do it, I don't know if I can do it without. Anyway, when you open the poster, that has gone through like if you spill oil on it. So that was a bit frustrating. Um, but this is lovely, this one, Alice in Wonderland. I would do more colour alongs and stuff in these books, but um, I don't know what people really want, you know, what's popular, what people would like. And it's, um, I've got some wonderful subscribers and I'm thankful for each and every one of them, but it's very disheartening when you spend hours planning a picture and putting it together as a colour along and you get like 60 views, <laughs> you know. Um, it'll come, I mean my channel's very, very new, so it's, so it's what I'm trying to say is that I'm hard... I'm finding it hard to know what people want, you know. So I'm only putting out there at the moment. I'm trying to think of what all the things that I like to watch. And so that's what we're doing. Yeah, gorgeous book this is. I love Alice in Wonderland, as I've already said tonight. I love that. And then you've got Pinocchio. And they're all by Fabiano. 
um, who's just recently released the um, Castles one, hasn't she? The um, oh god, my brain. Um, I don't know. Oh, I can't think of what it's called. But they're all lovely. These books, all be I mean, look at those coins. Oh, I might have to have a go at those gold coins. That'd be good. You know, if they turned out right, that'd be a good tutorial, wouldn't it? Gold coins. Yeah, beautiful. That little, poor little Pinocchio in there. Look. They are lovely. Her artwork is lovely. So that's my poor, sorry collection of four Fabiana Atalasio books. And then we're going to come to some uh, Molly Harrison. You've got to have a Molly Harrison or um, a Hannah Lynn in your collection, haven't you? Let's face it. So this is fairy colouring book in grayscale. 26 pictures by Molly. I love grayscale. I think this is Amazon. Yes, Amazon. But gorgeous pictures. Single sided. Could use your markers, whatever you wanted, really. And I'm sure it would take pastel. I'm going to have to try on this Amazon paper if pastel pencils would work. Because that would solve a lot of issues for people. Yeah, it's a lovely little book, look. Very cute, very delicate. That's a nice image, I like that. I'm going to keep that one out too. Really like that image. And that would be so good to try in pastel. Yeah, I'm putting that to one side, folks. That's going over there with the Halloween. Alright, then I've got um, Magical Beauties colouring book by uh, Christina McAllister. Book one, one-sided pages, pro colouring tips, it says. Do you know what? I haven't even opened it properly. So, some grayscaling. Let me centrise the picture. I'm sorry if I wasn't in frame there. Uh, let me centre it for you. So, they have got one side, but it's got a mandala on the other side, look. So, if you're not fussed about, it's the same one each time. You're not fussed about ruining that. Can you see the mandala? There. So if you did an image in pencil you could colour that in and have that as well. Yeah, some nice images. Again, ugh, it's not really doing it for me, people. But yeah, this is so new that look, it hasn't even been opened properly. Isn't that bad? Another cute book, quite big, quite thick. <coughs> is um, Fairy Lane by Bra Barbara Lanza <coughs> Enchanted Fairies to Colour uh, this is really really cute really really lovely images look look at that bunny wabbit a little fairy round here on him so who's this by? Oh, I did say Barbara Lanza is this Amazon? yep Oh, that's nice. Look at that page. Oh, do you know what I'm thinking? Oh, that might be quite nice for a comparison thing. Mm. More video ideas coming up. Yeah, be beautiful book. Really lovely. I need to get my arse in gear and get some of these done. So that's Fairy Lane. And then um, another Molly Harrison which is fantasy fairy tale colouring book in grayscale um, 40 images to colour now these are gorgeous she has got these on Etsy I'm pretty sure let me lift you up again because I think my things dropped down there we go um, these are gorgeous images as you would um, expect from Molly Harrison um, I thought I had big eyed girl one. Hmm, I probably do, but it's hiding somewhere. Yeah, look. Look at her beautiful eyes. That'd be really helpful actually to get that beautiful glaze on eyes. Hmm. Hmm, another idea. 
Yes, a cute book. Really cute. So that's Fantasy and Fairy Tale Colouring Book in Grayscale by Molly Harrison. This one Daria Song The Night Voyage. Um well, you've probably seen a million flip throughs of this. Great quality paper. It's a storybook. Well, there's no writing in it, but it tells the story of. Um, it, at the beginning, you've got the story, and it tells the story of this little lady. Her parents go away. Blah de blah, I won't spoil the plot for you. But, um, such a lovely, lovely book. But again, very intricate. And I've seen such beautiful colourings of this that it scares me off. But look at it. And I've wanted to colour in it. I just haven't picked it up. So there's that one. I knew there was another one I wanted to show you. Where have I put that? Um, here. Aha, uh -huh. I knew there was one. Don't scream at me. Now this is definitely one I haven't coloured in. This is The Mysterious Library, a colouring book into fables. Now mine look, might look a little bit different to yours if you've got this version. And that's because I cut it up. Don't shout at me. It's fine. Look, I took an Amazon strip and I cut the cover off. And I'll tell you why. Because it is such a beautiful book. And the spine of the book cut the image off so badly that I couldn't bear it. And it, I don't like messing around with my books, but this one I had to. And so you then get the full, can you see? No, not really. But it, the spine was there and you just couldn't get to the image. So my dad used to read me Jack and the Beanstalk and that reminds me of that. Um, it's just, I'm sorry the pages are all turned around the most fantastical book look at that, looks like Moby Dick maybe let me move it over Get that, yeah. most fantastic book um, turn it round we've all got mixed up isn't it lovely it's all like fairy tales and you can get to it now so that most of them are like double double pages, double page spreads. It's just a fantastic, beautiful book. But the paper, let me see. Look, I've got it all arse about face. I don't know what paper it's on. So you've got the names of the um the title of each picture, I couldn't tell you, I'm sorry. But no, the paper is not that great. Having said that, I haven't coloured in it, so I wouldn't know. I wouldn't possibly use water medium on it, um, because I don't think it could take it. But the imagery in this book, if you haven't got it, oh my goodness, there's a book for your collection. It is just wonderful. If you like fairy tales type, type images, there. Mysterious Library. Now I've got one more very special book um, that I haven't coloured in yet and that's because it is so preciously precious is this one Harry Potter I went to my best friend's house one day and her son um, we were talking about Harry Potter and colouring and all the things like you do when you're just chatting having a conversation and I told him that this was one of the books that I would love to have in my collection. It feels velvety. Um, and, do you know, that boy went and brought it for me. Bless his heart. Him and his mum went online, found it and brought it for me. So thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Sammy. Um, it was a wonderful, wonderful gift. And I was very, very blessed. So yeah, I'm, pro I'm sure that you've all seen this book. There are a lot of Harry Potter books out there that... But I'm not that keen on them. This, however, is spectacular. Look at Dobby. And you probably saw it in the Harry Potter um, marathon 
here we go, here's what I want to show you, look this page folds out and I'm not going to be able to get this in screen, all of it but look look at this, oh my goodness, this is the great hall in all, it, all its splendour that side that side and that side, so you've got four pages can you imagine what that would look like coloured in? You've got all the flags. It's just amazing. Um, and I will be forever grateful. It was just such a lovely thought from them both that I would never have been able to afford to purchase it and um, justified it. But it really is worth its weight in gold. And I do know that the works in the UK were selling them off. In fact, Amazon, I think yesterday, was selling them for £15, and it was originally 30 so if you're in the market for it, Quidditch Pitfield, four pages again. If you're in the market for it, don't quote me now, but as of the 4th of the 8th, 2020, they were selling it for £15. So, I'll leave you with this wonderful book if any of these books that I've shown you you think oh my goodness I'd really love to see that all the way through please let me know and I'll do a flip through for you if you can't find one on YouTube already um, I'd more than willingly do that for you I won't keep you any longer guys I really hope you enjoyed looking through my disgraceful collection of uncolored books so I'll let you go until next time take really good care of yourselves and I'll see you soon bye bye